right, this is the thing that I just tested. It's a fuel pump for the Bandit engine that I'm working on. Um, I started off a few weeks ago with some low power tests, um, and I have been working recently to increase the power to meet a requirement for the engine. So I have a, a minimum power that I needed to meet, and these tests actually exceeded that power by about 100 watts. But the path to get to this test was really interesting, required a lot of problem solving that I'd like to talk about because I'm actually really proud of it. After those first low power tests, I my uh, next tests that I tried were just to increase voltage, and I basically hit a wall at about uh, 280 watts fluid power. I couldn't exceed that. Um, that's corresponded to about 200 PSI at uh, 0.17 or 0.18 kilograms per second, and so that did not meet uh, the requirements. And um, I did a lot of investigating, and ultimately, actually, I what really helped was um, I upgraded my ESC um, here, and it allowed me to collect a lot of electrical data that provided insight into why it was not performing. And um, there were a couple factors that contributed to it not uh, performing as I expected. Uh, the first one that was really interesting was the internal resistance of the batteries that I was using uh, was large enough, even though it was you know, 0.15 ohms or something, uh, it was large enough at such high currents to dissipate a lot of the power from the batteries. So like, there's a lot of wasted power um, just being dissipated in the batteries themselves. Um, and the solution to that was to buy, um, I actually already had some four cell batteries that had a higher C discharge rating. And uh, I'll, uh, all I had to do is get one more to get three. And um, basically uh, that solved a lot of problems, uh, got about 30% less internal resistance. Um, another big factor and something that I'm really excited about is um, I uh, looked a little bit deeper into the motor performance data and found that I was likely being limited because I was doing um, direct drive such that there were, the motor was direct the motor shaft was directly connected to the pump shaft therefore they have to uh, necessarily spin at the same speed and uh, the speed of the pump is set by the flow rate requirement so the motor had to spin at that uh, one specific speed and unfortunately that speed um, on the charts corresponded to uh, relatively low efficiency and so um, I basically implemented a gear reduction so that the motor could spin at uh, about 4000 rpm 3600 rpm and the pump could spin at about 2400 rpm which corresponded to the right flow rate so um, the motor is now spinning at a speed at which it has a greater efficiency and so it, there's more power available to the pump shaft um, and that was really uh, a solution that i'm really proud of um, but yeah i uh, power from these tests exceeded wasn't what's necessary for the engine um, Maybe I can squeeze even a little bit more power and uh, increase chamber pressure or, you know, this gives me a lot of uh, wiggle room and there's a lot of margin for uh, if I wanted to implement regen at some point in the future, I've got about, uh, about 50 PSI to play with um, for that. So yeah, that's really um, been a cool path to get this to full power. I appreciate if there is people following along. <laughs> um, but yeah, thanks for watching.